grew up on the countryside of town. I was good, you too. Me in the shit box. Me in the caprice. Uh, I got some, some, some interesting. Uh, I got something interesting about to happen right now. So, me and my wife just took a little road trip, right? So, I want this bike. I'm trying to get back on the bike because y'all keep asking for the bike. Don't worry about the shit, boss. It's all right. I'm in the Caprice. 1989 Caprice. Now, I don't know if I posted the other video, but uh, I just bought a pickup truck. So, I bought uh, a 92 OBS Silverado. But, you know, I only bought it for $1,000. The motor running, it got a V6, but it's losing oil pressure. And then I put like a flush kit and well, I put some more of a mystery oil to flush it because uh, it had a bunch of sludge built up. And I'm guessing the oil passage got blocked because the oil pressure dropped even lower. So what I did, I hurried up and shut it off. Um, so I'm going to I'm have to either pull that motor apart and clean the sludge and hopefully the oil pressure get built back up or I can just drop a new motor. But that's besides the point. I just say that to say I don't have a truck, a working truck, but I want a bike and I want a bike right now. So I got some slap in the trunk. I had some slap in the trunk. I had a 15, but I took that out. What I'm about to try to do today is fit a bike Inside the trunk. Can I turn the key off? Oh, the amp kind of got a delay. But I'm going to try to fit a bike in this trunk. I'm going to take the wheels and forks off and triple clamps and handlebars. And I'm going to try to put the frame back here and take all of the plastics off too so it'll hopefully fit good. I wish I had a blanket or something to put on this Dynamat so I don't peel it all off. But... Then I'll probably put the wheels in the back seat. See, I got a toolbox and some tools. Uh, I probably should make better room, but you know. So, we'll see how it goes, man. This bike, this bike is super, super, super clean. I'm paying a little more than what I want to pay for it. Just because we fresh off of the, the hyperinflation of bikes and shit. I think if I would have waited another three or four months, I probably could get a great price on the bike, but I couldn't let this one right here pass me up because it got everything I want minus a uh, Yoshimura pipe, pipes. So that should give it away what I'm about to get. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all in a second. Well, fellas, uh, you know, I did what I said I wanted to do. You see the wheels in the back? Man, I got a bunch of shit that he gave me. Boxes full of shit. Hey, look. <laughs> I got the bike in the truck, man. This is crazy. I really literally put a damn bike in a trunk of a car. That's crazy. But we on the way home, man. It's what, one o'clock in the morning? I think we're gonna get there at like four. We got three more hours to go. Got that motherfucker. Got my other shit box over there. Then your new motor. A damn motor. Gotta get my damn truck running. Cause pulling this out of that trunk was a workout. I almost strained my damn back trying to pull that shit out. Put this all together though. That's the plastic. There's a bunch of spare stuff right there. Spare plastics. I got more spare shit in the back of the. So, got it all back together. And really, I only got a few complaints. I ain't even gonna say complaints. It's only, it's only a few issues on the bike. So, the tires, they need new tires, but I'm not gonna complain about that because, you know, you can, you're gonna always need new tires, especially with motocross um what was it it was something over here 
Oh, it, it got a bolt missing on the plastic. And the dude said he wrecked. I think he said he broke his ankle one time. And then when he came back, he broke his pelvis. And he just, he wasn't really riding that much. But I, It looked like he wasn't riding that much. But I can tell he cared for the bike because he got all this shit. Bunch of shit. He gave me a bunch of shit. Bunch of oil, bunch of chain lube, chain wax. I'm definitely gonna need this to do the forks. Um, you know, just a bunch of shit. Gave me some goggles and a goggle bag. They ain't new, but uh, I need them. I like that lens. That bolt and then this brake lever. That was really the only two issues that I seen. Everything else looked in great condition. He took good care of the bike. I can't tell. These look like aftermarket radiators, but I can't tell if they're the cheap GPI ones or something else. I don't see a name or nothing on them. Either way, I like it. I fuck with it. It looks sturdy. Um, yeah, man. See me on the track soon. <laughs> I think he almost lost his hat. My boy don't go nowhere without a hat. Shit, the crazy part, I didn't even ride the bike last night just by looking at it and the condition that it was in and how clean it was and the pictures and videos that the dude sent me. I just trusted him and I, I figured it would be good. Shout out to Nick, Nick Swain. Check him out though. <laughs> Check him out, smiling, smiling, it is. That bitch clean too, boy. That motherfucker pull tonight. I'm gonna show y'all why y'all always do a pre-inspection before you ride a bike that you bought from somebody on the track, like a used bike. So, you see that right there? That's a missing crankcase bolt. And the only reason I found that is because I was noticing there was a little slight oil leak uh, inside the, I noticed the oil leak inside the pan on the stand. So I look under there and I seen it dripping here. I wiped it up now, but it was dripping right here. And I got to inspecting and I noticed this right here. Uh, ain't no big deal. I don't, I don't know if they left it because it was stripped or if they just forgot it until after the fact. And then seeing that they couldn't put it in because the frame is in the way. But either way, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have to remove the motor to put it back in. back on the bike now watch my boy gonna be back on the bike now <laughs> I don't know bro you look like you fit on the Honda my boy it look like that might be your bike of choice from now on. I don't even gonna lie to you, bro. I'm gonna say it off camera, though. All right. Grew up on the countryside of time. Uh. EMI cooking my nigga. Do it for the South, y'all know. Pulling raid with them rubber plant hang hung slate. Grew up where you niggas won't go.